And we'll move on now to the new terror tape issued today from a 39-year-old man born in New Mexico who has joined Osama bin Laden at the top of the list of the most wanted men in the world. Anwar al-Alaki, the spiritual leader of al-Qaeda in Yemen, linked to multiple plots, including those bombs on cargo planes. Martha Raditz, who covers defense and security, tells us his latest video is a polished production. He calls America Satan, but the video itself looks almost corporate. And today, investigators are examining the well-produced propaganda tape to see what clues it offers. First, compare it to the last time Osama bin Laden was seen on video. The Iraqi image is sharp, the background wood lattice, the glass top desk, an executive's leather chair, and not one, but two microphones. Iraqi has made his name with recruiting videos. Investigators from New York Congressman Anthony Weiner's office found more than 700 videos on YouTube with an alarming 3.5 million hits. Weiner said the videos facilitated the recruitment of homegrown terror. YouTube took down some of the most defensive. But it is still incredibly easy to find videos of Iraqi on YouTube. You just type in his name and you get hundreds, even thousands of results. The overall theme of the tapes is that America is waging war against Muslims and must be stopped. While some of those checking out the sites are no doubt curiosity seekers, officials say Olaki has inspired terror before, from the mass shootings at Fort Hood to the failed Christmas Day bombing and investigators fear he will do so again. The video could provide important clues, but wherever that tape was made, Awaki has likely moved on to yet another safe haven in Yemen, where it is clearly easy to hide. Diane? Martha Raditz, who continues to watch terror in Yemen for us. Thank you, Martha.